Hello and welcome to Brain Chow. It's time for another railway comparison. You guys love these videos and we love making them for you. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Number 1 Top Speed Interestingly, the fastest train set in Sri Lankan Railway is actually imported from India. The name of this diesel multiple unit is Sri Lanka Railway Class S11 and it is capable of running at a maximum speed of 110 km per hour. Sri Lanka has also imported some train sets from China which is called Class S12 but it is only capable of running 100 km per hour. And Further, they have put a maximum operational speed of just 80 km per hour. On the other hand, India's fastest train is Tejas Express with maximum capacity speed of 200 km per hour. However, Currently, Indian tracks are only able to handle speeds up to 160 km per hour. First point goes to India. Number 2. Luxury Trains The most popular luxury service in Sri Lanka is Expo Rail. Although it is not really a luxury train, it would be more accurate to call it a premium service like Shatabdi or Rajdhani. It is not even a competition here. India has one of the best fleet of luxury trains in entire world. This point goes to India too. India now has taken a lead of 2-0. Number 3. Safety This is a very complex issue. If you look at the number of derailments and accidents, Indian Railway has one of the worst records. But when you look at the scale of operations, Indian Railway has a pretty decent record. But unfortunately, derailments are not the only cause of death. Lot of people lose their lives due to overcrowding and level crossings. It is difficult to blame the railway for all these incidents entirely. The main issue is the uncontrolled population growth India has had in the past. Now let's talk about Sri Lanka. Their last major accident was back in April 2014. They too have a very aging, outdated rail infrastructure. But just based on low number of deaths, we are giving this point to Sri Lanka. Number 4. Electrification Sri Lanka has not electrified even a single kilometer of its rail routes but they are planning to electrify 120 km in the near future to make rail transportation environmentally more sustainable. India on the other hand has already managed to electrify 48% of its vast network and has set a target to completely electrify railway operations by March 2021. Last year, India became the first country to introduce solar powered train. India is also in process of installing solar panels on station rooftops and bio toilets in trains to be environmentally more responsible. This point goes to India. Number 5 Scale of Operations India is a much larger country and therefore it is very unfair towards Sri Lanka. But I know you guys want to know the figures so we won't disappoint you. Sri Lankan Railway has 14,400 employees working for them. Indian Railways has about 100 times more. They have a route length of 1,340 km. India has 50 times that. Revenue of Sri Lankan Railway is $23.2 million. Revenue of Indian Railways is more than 1,000 times that at $29 billion. This point goes to India. India wins this comparison 4-1. 
Did you enjoy this video? If you did and you don't want to miss out our future comparisons, then press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching Brain Chow.